What's going on guys, it's Will with the FSR, right, back with another video for this week, going over prize picks, NFL Week 11. I'm going to go with four, video, four picks for this video, starting off the first one with David Montgomery. He is going to be rotating his more than 49.5 rushing yards line against the Chicago Bears. The Bears will get Justin Fields back this game, but still overall the Lions are the better team here, and that's indicated by this line right here with the lions currently favored by 7.5 points and they're playing at home which that's the first thing a home run a home favorite running back and then when you're favored by this amount of points uh it's just a very good spot for montgomery and then it is a high total as well at 48. this matchup against the bears the chicago has been pretty decent at limiting running back rushing yards however the Lions have the number one offensive line in the NFL, and we're seeing this team just have a lot of success uh, keeping Jared Goff upright. They're running the ball a ton when they can. They want to. Dan Campbell wants to ground and pound. This is the type of game that they can do that. Um, they should be playing with a lead, and it's also first week back for Fields. He could be rusty. Um, it is going to be, well, if things go as expected, the Lions should win this game. They should be able to control it. And Jamar Gibbs, he's also a pretty solid option. His line is at 41.5, but I think Montgomery is just a better play uh, when it's only an 8-yard difference right now. Uh, if you do look at the rushing attempts, last week was Montgomery's first week back, and they gave Gibbs 14 carries. Montgomery got 12 in that shootout against the Chargers. But this week, and... I actually, I was thinking it through before I looked at these lines. I thought Montgomery was going to, or he, he is going to outcarry Gibbs this week because it's another week Montgomery gets healthier and you can go back to using him as more of your, um, like an early down back and then Gibbs with his pass catching ability comes in later. And when you do look at his lines, rush, or both of them rushing attempts, it's 13.5 for Montgomery, 9.5 for Gibbs. So the books also see it that way. And Yards per carry, Montgomery's at 4.7 this year, and obviously you can't just you know multiply them. That's not how it works. But if you give him 13 carries, he only needs to average four yards. That's 13 times four, 52, and he's over this 49.5 line. So I just think this is a very good spot. I think he's going to get more work this week, and I think this one should continue to uh, the line should continue to rise before game time. So. We like this one, but I also do like Gibbs at 41.5 for more as well. The next play, we're going to Christian Watson. This one may be going to be a harder sell uh, for some of you guys, but take it more on 36.5 against the Chargers. Christian Watson has been pretty disappointing. I would say he's kind of a draft bust in fantasy football leagues this year. Um, you know, he came in with an injury to start the year, and Jordan Love looked pretty good. But it's kind of falling apart now. They do have Aaron Jones back um, looking healthy. So that could um, kind of open things up a little bit. But Christian Watson, he's just been disappointing this season. But if we do look at his snaps, they're there. Targets are there. He's still the number one option in the receiving game for this team. And we're going to see, uh, hopefully, I mean, if he's going to break out, it's going to be this week. The Chargers just allow a ton of yards, a ton of points to... Uh, basically anyone, um, but particularly for wide receivers. They're not good in coverage. Christian Watson is a talented player. We know that we saw it um, for not the entire season, but we, we, he did it for quite a few weeks last year. And now with um, Jordan Love at QB, his competition, Romeo Dobbs, Reed, Luke Musgrave, he's the clear guy. Um, and because he hasn't been great this season, that's why we're getting this low of a line. Like, imagine if he was having, I hate looking at the last five, but if he had some good games, like if he had this 91 receiving game last week, we're not getting this line. He's probably going to be in the 40s. And if he just had a better year, this line would be in the 50s. So I like the, I can't really call it a discount because he hasn't been great this year, but the, his targets are going to be there, hopefully. Um, they should be. And this game, um, DK currently has up 37.5, so we're getting one yard difference, but the matchup or, or, or the spread the game total of 44 is pretty nice and then they are three point road uh three point home dogs so being um the underdog here 
it's going to make them pass more, hopefully. And Christian Watson, again, I, I think this line is probably a little bit too low um, due to how he's been this season. And the third play is going to be from the other side. So I don't know why, but this afternoon, Austin Eckler's lines has dropped. Um, this line actually is too high compared to books. So if you're on another site, you're on books 84.5. I like the over or the more um, here. But because I, I'm not going to give them three yards, I'm going to go with the touchdown line here with more. The Packers have been very vulnerable against opposing running backs, and this is a spot that I, I like Eckler's usage. He His targets have been very solid. We already knew he was going to be uh, uh, one of the most targeted running backs in all of football, but they have been dealing with a ton of injuries. They lost Mike Williams for the season. Now they don't have Josh Palmer. They also do not have Gerald Everett, and they could be without Guyton this week as well. Uh, I'm fine with that even if uh, if Guyton plays, but just a ton of injuries, and it's allowed uh, Justin Herbert to just really target Keenan Allen and then Austin Eckler in the receiving game. So with Eckler here, he yes, he's a running back, but he can do it through the air, and the Packers, they allow rushing yards, they allow receiving yards to running backs, and this is a three-point, uh, the, the Chargers are three-point row favorites, so the game script, even though he's game script proof, uh, proof, he can do it in both ways. Uh, you know, he can do it to the ground, to the air, and touchdowns. Uh, kind of a weird category, can be volatile, but Eckler's definitely a guy that um, I feel pretty good about when it comes to getting a touchdown, just because he's so involved in the in all facets of the game. And then the fourth play is going to be. A gross one, I would say. Definitely like the, these other, uh, the previous three plays a lot better. But there is a little bit of value here. Aiden O'Connell and the game script, again, it, it makes sense. Taking more on 19.5 pass completions for him. These Las Vegas Raiders do look better um, with the change that they've made uh, to their staff. But this is just going to be a very tough spot. I mean, the Dolphins are going to be at home. Um, I believe they're coming off of their bye week too. They're getting a chain back. The Raiders, they're the biggest underdogs on this slate at 13.5. And they should have to just throw a ton, especially in the second half. They would like to run Josh Jacobs, but they're really not going to be able to. Um, looking at his line, it is at 20.5 right now, plus 105. A little bit juiced to the under, but I can't see this going to 19.5 because just the Raiders are heavy dogs here and with um the weapons that the Raiders do have Devontae Adams of course Jacoby Myers um uh, they you know they have the guys that can catch the ball it's just can't Aaron O'Connell deliver it um and Josh Jacobs out of the backfield too O'Connell really does like to target um Jacobs uh, this is the game script to do it too. So O'Connell, we, we're getting a little bit of value in this, but I think the play just makes sense when you do think about it. Um, Double-digit dogs and on the road. Um, yeah, just 19.5. I think you can definitely get to 20 passing completions. Hopefully the um, offensive line can just give him a little bit of time to throw, and they're going to have to throw a lot. Just hopefully no drops, no sacks, nothing like that. So yeah, this one's going to be the fourth and final play for this week. I think Montgomery's definitely my favorite one uh, out of the out of these four. So Montgomery, more than 49.5 rushing yards. Christian Watson, more than 36.5 receiving yards. Austin Eckler, more than 0.5 touchdowns. And then Aiden O'Connell, more than 19.5 passing completions. So those are going to be the four plays for this week. Week 11 of NFL on price picks. So if you guys are... Uh, Paling. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do like before you go. Subscribe to the channel. You can check out all our offers on our site that we're uh, delivering. So right down in the description below. And good luck on this slate. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.